Are you a runner with only 20 minutes and you're wanting to improve your strength in terms of your run form and your posture? Well, perfect. I've got the ideal workout for you. Come with me. Now, here's a little disclaimer. This is a tough little session. Even I find these exercises really hard, so you could dial them back if you need to, especially in terms of the repetitions or the number of sets. The primary focus, what we're gonna really, really target in these is working on our back, which I call the forgotten half of the core. Exercise number one is a reverse plank, and I've made it even harder because it's gonna be really time effective where we're also still going to work on hip flexor strength as well to help that hip pull through when we're running. With this one, you're coming into literally a reverse plank position, so popping your hands underneath you, lifting those hips up nice and high and trying to keep those hips up as high as you can off the ground. And then while you're holding that position, so that's a static hold, you're going to come into a hip flexion. So pulling that knee up and controlling that back down again. I have got the band here, but you can of course do this without the band or even if you just wanna start, you can just do the reverse plank. Play around with your hand position because sometimes it can feel really uncomfortable through your shoulders and that does take a little bit of getting used to. With these ones we're going to start with three sets of eight repetitions on each side and because they are tough you're going to give yourself 90 seconds of rest in between those sets. Next one is our banded supermans and like I said I've really not been nice to you in this session but you are going to see improvements. With this one, you're gonna pop the band around your feet. You're going to lay on your tummy. Here, you're gonna see that I lift my feet up and my hands up. So the big target of this one is that erector spinae strength. If you do have back issues, particularly into extension, just obviously be cautious with this and make sure that it suits you. To, again, to make the most out of it, I always make things a little bit harder. So we're gonna add that resisted hip abduction out into the band and back in again, doing those pulses out and in. With this one, you're going to aim for four sets of 30 seconds of pulses, 30 seconds of rest. You can of course do the pulses without the band if it's too hard or you can do a static hold into the band as well if you prefer. The last exercise, another really good bang for buck one is our back squats. Now back squats have actually been shown to have greater activation in the erector spinae, so those muscles on the back, when compared to a plank. And the benefit of these, especially for runners, is they will help your performance. With these ones, we are gonna aim on that maximal strength parameters a little bit more, so we're gonna aim for four sets of eight repetitions of these ones. Now obviously how heavy you're going to do those eight repetitions depends on you and your history. Ideally, you want to start to aim to leave about three reps in reserve, and then you can slowly build up that weight as you want to. Research does show that if you go a bit heavier with those ones, you're going to get more of that erector spinae strength. With those, if you are going to go relatively heavy, make sure you give yourself 90 seconds to two minutes of rest in between those sets. If you don't have a barbell, that's no problem. You're gonna pop those dumbbells up on your shoulders so you're making sure that you're still getting that loading through your upper body as well, and you can do them with your dumbbells instead. There you go, there is a solid evidence-based program that you can do to help improve your run form and your run posture, especially on the back end of those long runs. If you enjoyed this, I'd love it if you could subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.